to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, one God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Another roll. O'Connor, Mayor Here. O'Connor, yep. Morissette? Yes. Alms? Here. McCormick? Here. Weber? Here. Ivett? Here. All. Here. Okay, the next thing is comments uh, from citizens. Anybody have anything they'd like to say tonight? Don't be shy. Anybody have anything you want to say? Does anybody have anything they would like to say? Hearing nothing, we'll close this portion. <coughs> and we'll go to the consent agenda items. To approve the regular session meeting minutes of August 1st, 2016. To approve claims in the amount of $354,793.56. Details available in the clerk's office and on the city's website. Contingent on payment of any outstanding debt owed to the city and successful completion of the background check, approve the issuance of three regular operator's licenses for the period August, 6, August 16th, 2016 to June 30th, 2018 to Charles Wynn, Justina Plemon, and Cyrus Sean Quiller. To approve the extension of Pete Foster, and that was on the table this evening, um, to his timely startup requirement until December of 2016. To approve the Hudson High School homecoming parade that will be held on Wednesday, September 28, 2016 at 4 p.m. To approve the signage for residential parking restrictions on 11th Street during the school year. To approve the Youth Action Hudson 5K Run Walk that will be held on Tuesday, October 25th, 6, I'm sorry, October 25th, 2016 at 5 p.m. at Lakefront Park. To approve Tom Irwin, Candace Collins, Mary Hirsch, John Treeb, and Charles McGee who have expressed interest in being appointed as an election inspector. Their term will be effective from August 16, 2016 through December 31st, 2017 with the additional consideration that they may also serve as special registration deputies and special voting deputies as needed for election related duties at the qualifying community based residential facilities after training has been successfully completed. To approve the 2016 Water Utility Second Quarter Report, to approve the Public Utilities Commission meeting minutes of August 9th, 2016. To approve the sign design for White Camp Park and to provide information that the finance officer analyzed the options for purchasing a new ambulance and the mayor agreed with the recommendation which is um, half will be utilizing cash and the other half will be a interfund loan between the general fund and EMS. And that is all. Move to approve. Second. Got a motion and second to approve the consent agenda. Roll call. Holmes. Yes. Weber. Yes. Hall. Yes. Hoggett. Yes. McCormick. Yes. Morissette. Yes. Motion's approved. Moved to unfinished business. Discussion of possible action on pursuing discussions integrating St. Croix EMS with Hudson Hospital Health Partners. Tom, you want to take that one? Sure. Well, the mayor and I met last week, I think it was, with them, and uh, got some more uh, questions answered. And um, I think what the next step is to have a committee of uh, city personnel and, uh, and then they'll have their own committee to kind of work on some more details. And that was about it. Um, the ambulance was on the consent agenda, so we don't need to talk about that. Anything else that you think was important? No, I think, I think it's moving along. I don't think that there's any real stumbling blocks at this point. Um, there are obviously some more details that have to be discussed, and it's going to take a little time. And then the, the question of when there's some sort of a public hearing on this has to be determined, too. So that's about it. Any questions? Any anticipation as to what kind of timeline they're on, just kind of as it comes? or looking? No, it depends on who you ask, I guess. Oh. I mean, I think the mayor has an aggressive timeline in mind. <laughs> Um, you know, I think it's going to be six months to a year. Okay. Like that. I'd definitely like to have this done before we enter into the next budget cycle. Not this one. Sure. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> 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 yeah. So you want it on the next agenda? Then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Who do you, you, uh, you talked about other additional people meeting with the becoming part of this discussion? Is that? Well, I think that just three people, maybe for uh, somebody from EMS and uh, haven't thought it all the way through, but they just wanted, you know, some committee of some sort to deal with it, so. Okay. Anything else? They are open to signing some sort of contract with the city. Um, overall, I, I know we're kind of rehashing old, but. Yes, there has to be. Right. right. For a specified number of years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No. Nope. Move on. Uh, new business. Discuss discussion and possible action on resolution 18 16, disallowance of claim of Emily Janish. This is a standard disallowance that our insurance companies recommended we approve, which starts the timeline then for the next process if they choose to file a claim against the city. What happened? What? What happened? Well, it's a claim for personal injury damages arising out of a law enforcement situation, but to really discuss any facts and stuff, it's really better to get that out in the litigation if there is going to be any litigation. Was there personal injury or just property damage? Oh, you should have a, it was personal injury They're claiming what personal they alleged injury. in the complaint, or in the claim. Do we need to suspend the rules? Resolution? Yes. Yes. Move to suspend. Second. Okay. Motion second to suspend. Discussion? All those in favor, or roll call, rather. Morissette? Yes. Weber? Yes. Alms? Yes. Hoggett? Yes. McCormick? Yes. Hall? Yes. Motion to suspend is approved. Move to disallow the claim of Emily Janice, resolution 18 16. Second. Okay, motion and second. Discussion? As I said, this starts the, the legal clock for them to actually then file yeah. the claim. What's the actual clock? From the it's, uh, no, six months from the date of receipt of notice of disallowance. Six months. Okay. Yes. So they'll be sent a certified letter, and mm -hmm. the date of that letter starts the clock. Okay. Okay. Further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's approved. Discussion and possible action on the donation of a memorial bench in honor of John Mingo for Lakefront Park. And we got Tom. At the August 2nd uh, Park Board meeting, uh, Rebecca Erickson, um, who's in the audience, may want to speak on this also, but uh, uh, requested the Park Board to consider a donation of a, a bench, a circular bench in, uh, to be placed in Lakefront Park in honor of her late husband, John Mingo. Um, at that time, there was a packet at the park board uh, with the um, policy and memorial, memorials and things like that. At that time, there was a discussion that this is uh, a bench in honor, not a memorial. There won't be any inscription with his name. It'll be an inscription on there, but it'll uh, be a reading. Um, I believe that's bullet point. Number two, uh, the one she would like, a man's mind once stretched by a new idea never regains its original dimension by Oliver Wendell Holmes. Um, the park board recommended uh, location was number three, which is an area just south of the lakefront bandshell um, near the walk path with the view of the, the river, facing the rivers. Uh, I guess, I don't know, would you like to speak, Rebecca? Um, Anything you'd like to add? Um, material with... I'm Rebecca Erickson Mingo of 112 Walnut Street. The material of the bench will be synonymous with all the other benches in the park. It'll be the Trex material and uh, there were various colors we could choose from, but we would stick with one that is in the brown tones to look similar to the other benches that are out there. They probably, it would be mounted similar to uh, with footings and on top of a cement um, apron. 
I'm not sure if that's the right name, word. So, and uh, would be open to, I have done a little homework on um, who is, uh, uh, has the ability to perform that or to do that, but if you have any uh, recommendations that the city council would like to use, I'm. <coughs> As far as installation, yes. we can get the council approved that but, you know we can work with public works and parks. To Perfect. Get that. Perfect. It's a good idea. It looks very nice. Thank yeah. you. Cool. Uh, Thank you. I thought it involved an encompassing view of community and people and bringing people together. I would I would recommend approval, but I would like from the record stricken from the record anything that's related to memorial. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yep. it, it, would, it just clears it up. Yep, I'll change the, the heading on the minutes and make it clear. It, and what Tom had said at the park board, make it clear that it's not a memorial bench. Or a bench of memorial with his name on it. It's, yeah. Right. Yep, I'll put that in the minutes, Randy. Okay, thank you. Any questions? Discussion? Yeah, we get a motion. motion? I'll, I'll move to approve. No, I thought I moved. I did. I, yeah, you did. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that a motion? Second. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we've got a motion to second. Further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's approved. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> discussion and possible action on the request by Dag Sealander to hold the USA Cycle Cross <coughs> Race at Grandview Park on October 1st, 2016. At the same uh, park board meeting, uh, Mr. Slander uh, came and uh, talked about the possibility of having a cycle cross, which is not a motorized vehicle, it's pedal bikes uh, in a park, a Grandview Park on uh, October 1st. Um, he's been working with the school district to get permission to use some of their, possibly some of their, a portion of their property for this race. Um, I've looked at the area um, with dog and uh, it's an area that goes around the, ex the outside of uh, Grandview Park ball fields and then down in the woods um, through the storm pond and things like that. So uh, the park board uh, approved it at that meeting. And if you have any questions, I think Dog is here to answer any. Perhaps a description of what a cycle cross race is. Identify yourself. Doug Salander, Volvo 9 First Street. Uh, you asked what cycle cross is? Yes. Right. Cycle cross is the uh, easiest way to describe is something between a mountain bike and a road, but it's off road. So it's a road bike with fatter tires. And uh, the racing is uh, on a closed course. Uh, you know, a trail that we will be, I'll be working on, uh, you know, laying out and clean up some of this area out here in the, in the, in the Grandview area, in the park and uh, in the woods. It's uh, on trails, it uh, includes uh, obstacles. You have to get off the bike and carry the bike in, in certain areas. You, uh, so you shoulder the bike running up the hills. You pedal and do, ups, you know, a lot of turning. It's, it's uh, kind of like an obstacle course on the bike. And um, we are doing uh, different events. It's uh, from, uh, from kids, juniors, to, uh, to adults. And the juniors, the shorter race is a half an hour. It's, it's timed races. And uh, the next level is uh, 45 minutes. And masters and and women also is racing and then the elite class is an hour uh, race uh, for some of you if you remember I had these races down in the lakefront park years and years ago mm -hmm. and um, uh, it's if you remember that that's you know that's how it is it's on grass on the road uh, you know, some of the trails down there, I'll be using uh, the sand pit, you know, just for obstacles. There's this is, uh, you know, it's a tough thing. It's, uh, it's fun. It's uh, what I call, it's a new life to cycling. Uh, and uh, if you guys have time or 
want to come out and take a look, uh, you'll be welcome to come and I'll, you know, give you a little bit of, you know, fill in if you, if you have, if you're interested, you know, and uh, my part is I want to clean up some of those trails and stuff out there. And uh, those things, uh, I got approval from the park board to, you know, to maybe improve some of that in there. And, you know, there's some of that's overgrown and, uh, you know, some dead trees and things like that. And uh, I worked with this school and I marked, uh, work, um, met with Mark uh, Klonerman today. I just need to lay out the course. And, um, and today I got a little bit more, you know, knowing of what the area is so I can really lay out the course and, uh, and you know I got pretty much the approval for them I just have to uh, to get the plan the actual route where I'm going to be using it the be most of the course will be on city property comment okay. um, it will be subject to supplying a certificate of insurance showing liability insurance naming at the city of Hudson yes. as a additional insured yep. on a non-contributory basis. Yeah, so there will important. be uh, there will be uh, the city of Hudson will be named, and the schools, and then of course us as a as a promoter of the, and of the thing. What is us? Are you Minnesota Junior Cycling, with, with me, pretty much. So you can Don, you can work with Leanne on that and. I, yeah, I, so what I need from you, if you approve this, I need just an a email that is saying that we can do it on, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I need the, the approval from you. So in case something happens that, right. hey, we don't have this, we can't. Because I have insurance, or we have insurance, that we need that certificate from, sure. from you and from the school, I need that. Okay, so and yeah, we, you can just, you can oh, just stop down tomorrow then, and if it's approved this evening, well, we'll work yeah, through that. I, it's okay. So it has to be a, before I can permit it. Right. We have to permit to U.S. Cycling, yeah. and then when we get permit, then we get the certificates. And as soon as we get those certificates, we'll we'll get them to Leanne. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And, I'll, is, and I'll follow up with that. Is this, this like a, a LLC or what? We type are of we are a nonprofit organization. Yes. Further questions? How many participants do you expect? Well, we have had in the past around 200. And since this is the first race of the season, <clears throat> uh, I, I think, you know, everybody's a little excited on the first uh, race of this. So I exec expect at least 200. Yeah. Awesome. Anyone else? Anything? I'll move to approve. The second that uh, motion and a second to approve. Further discussion. <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Motion's approved. Thanks, Doug. Yep. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Just for a little information, I think Mr. Salander placed fifth place in, in the nationals in his age group this summer. <laughs> wow! Congratulations. Fifteenth <laughs> or fifth? Fifth. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, discussion of possible action on filling the open patrol office posi officer position. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, on Tuesday, um, Officer Kurt DeVroy was let go from the Hudson Police Department for not completing his probationary period. Um, we now have an open position that I would like to fill. I do have a current eligibility list. However, we will be meeting with the Police and Fire Commission on Friday to take a look at getting a new one up and running. Uh, I do have the money in my budget, so I'm asking for permission to fill it. Yeah. I move to approve. Second. second. Motion and second to approve. <laughs> Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's approved. Thanks, Thank Chief. Thank you. Uh, I have a card here from Doug Stolberg. With sincerest thanks for your kindness and thoughtfulness, I want to thank you for the recognition I received at the July 18th council meeting. Your acknowledgement was greatly appreciated. And the mayor also received thank you notes from the Hudson Senior Citizens for the donation from the room tax community subsidies and a thank you note from the FIP Center for the Arts for all the help that the city staff 
um, for the Minnesota Orchestra concert. So just to acknowledge both, he did receive thank yous from both of them as well. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, future uh, items for agendas? Anything? Anybody in the council have anything to toss in? Catherine? No. No? Okay. You guys want to hang out for a little longer? Sure. <laughs> I'll move to adjourn. <laughs> move adjournment? Yeah. Second. Okay. Motion and second to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. 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 A